after prayers we prayed it with her that night and God intervened. Yes, uh huh. Praise God. Praise God. Her names are Jane. On my side, it's two months to three months. She was bleeding. Then she touched the vehicle. And the blood stopped. She studied uh, water. She never knew where the water was coming. When she came here on Tuesday, the pastor was very hungry. Why are you not coming to church? Because I never, I didn't want to, uh, to shame you. Because those who show me the water, Ma the water was, was following, was doing what? Yes, the water that is like a urine. He, she had a problem with fistula. And she was told to go to Kiambu. Just go directly to the point, please. She already told her to go to Kiambu Hospital. Don't just go to private hospitals always. But what I thank God on Sunday, the preaching was very powerful. I was there outside. Because of that water. So that water made me to go back to the house. I went home while crying. I asked God, why me? Why am I passing all this? But on Thursday, I saw God. That day on Thursday, I wanted to see the pastor. But the things were not good. I went back to the house. Pastor told the chair. And Roda. Uh, we hold the hands. Well, she thought why. She saw his heart was very hard because Pastor Tony told the, the servants that he was well with him to hold hands and pray. I had a very, a, a very little faith. But they prayed. When I stepped in outside the, the door, uh -huh. she has never bleated that water again. God has healed her fistula. We have been praying with the pastor to get a job. Na finally, nilipata job. Finally, now I have a job. Na, na thank Mungu sana. Now na shiku, I thank God. Hallelujah. Clap your hands to her. Bona isa sifiwe. Yes, now clap your hands to God who gave her job. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want my interpreter. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 3, I may give away everything I have and even give up my body to be burned, but if I have no love, this does me no good. Now where is Atoa, mwili wangu, mwili mali yangu yote, na kuwapa, Maskini na tena nikiutoa mwili wangu uchomwe kama sina upendo hiyo ni hiyo hainifai chochote Praise God you can give everything that you have to the poor you can sacrifice yourself but if you don't have love you are nothing the Bible says God is love. In order for God to answer your prayers, you must have the spirit of love. Do you love your neighbor? Do you love your friend? Or you do not love your neighbor? The Bible says, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your belongings. 
Biblia inasema penda Mungu na roho yako yote na mali yako yote. If you do not love God. Kama upendi Mungu if you do not love your neighbor, kama upendi jirani yako. If you do not love your mother in law, kama upendi ma- mama wako wa. If you do not love father in law, kama upendi baba yako. Wa, you do not know God. Au pe- au juu mungu. You do not know God. Au juu mungu. Ask your neighbor. Uliza. Do you know God? Umejua mungu. I know when you are in your house. Wakati huko kwako as child of your neighbor mtoto wa jirani yako when he or she enters your house akiingia kwa nyumba yako and you are cooking samaki or fish or, or ugali or kuku no unapika samaki kwa ugali ama kuku you usually tell your neighbor son unaambia mtoto wa jirani yako your mother is calling you mama yako anakuita do you know god umejua mungu do you know god umejua mungu Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says I may give everything that I have. Biblia inasema naweza peana kila kitu ambacho But if I do not have love. Lakini kama sina upendo, I am nothing. Mimi ni mtu bora. Verse 4. Love is patient. El ma- upendo uh, una unastahimili. And kind. Love is patient. And kind. Upendo uvumilia na ufadhili. It is not jealousy. Aina wivu. It is not jealousy. So if you have a spirit of jealousy, you do not know God. Kama uko na roho ya wivu haumjui Mungu. When your pa- when your neighbor when God blesses your neighbor. Wakati Mungu anabariki chini. How do you feel? Unasikia aje. When your neighbor receives a wife or a husband. Wakati jirani yako anapata bibi ama bwana How do you feel? Unasikia aje? The Bible say Biblia inasema If you have the spirit of jealousy Kama uko na roho ya wivu You do not do not God Haumjui Mungu You do not know God Haujui Mungu I may give everything that I have Naweza peana chochote ambacho niko But if I do not have love Lakini kama sina upa, I am nothing Mimi ni mtu bure. I am nothing. Mimi ni mtu bure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. The Bible says in verse four, it is not jealousy or conceit or proud. The love has no proud. The person who has love doesn't have. That he or she is not proud. Mtu mwenye ako na upendo. Hajipendekezi. Hana majivuno. Hana majivuno. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are, you, if you always you are proud of yourself. Kama wewe ni mtu mwenye uko na majivuno, you do not know God. Haujui Mungu. God cannot answer your prayer. Mungu hawezi jibu maombi. If you do not have love. Kama hauna Upendo. God cannot answer your prayer, my brother, my sister. Mungu hawezi jibu mwa. If you are not loving your neighbor or your, or your neighbor. Kama upendi jirani yako. The Bible yako. say. Biblia inasema. Love your neighbor. Penda jirani yako. As you love yourself. Jinsi unavyojipenda. How many loves their neighbors? Upende jirani yako. How many loves their neighbors? Wangapi wanapenda jirani yao? For example right now we are in election time. Kwa mfano wakati huu tuko kwa wakati wa kupiga kura. A person when a man to say I am of Ruto, I am of Raila, I am of Jakoya, I am of Maura. Another person stands and say what are you saying? What kila mtu ako na candidate anataka. So please we need to have a spirit of love. Tunafaa kukuwa na roho ya upendo. Election will come and go. Kura zitakuja na ziende. But your neighbor will still be your neighbor. Lakini jirani yako bado atabaki kuwa jirani. Election will go. Kura zitakuja na kuenda. That politician that you are fighting for. Mwanasiasa ambaye unampigania. He or she. Yeye at Takuja. He will never give you food. Awezi kupatia chakula. When you are, when you need school fees. Wakati unakona shida ya karo ya shule. The only person that can help you. Mwenye anaweza kukusaidia. Is that neighbor. Ni yule jirani yako. That you are raising against. Uyo mwenye unakata. Hallelujah. 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 Love your neighbor as you love. Yourself. 
The Bible says, Biblia inasema, Love is not happy with the evil. Upendo haina furaha na yale mabaya. How many of us? Wangapi kati yetu? We are happy when we see others they are downfall for others. Tuna furaha wakati tumeona wengine wetu wameanguka. How many? Wangapi? Usually usually say I knew. Watu wengi husema nilijua. I knew he will be sacked. Nilijua atapoteza kazi. I knew the marriage will break. Nilijua ndoa yake itaanguka. The Bible say. Biblia inasema. Love. Penda. Is not happy. Upendo is not happy. Haina furaha. I pray mabaya. I pray mabaya. I pray mabaya. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible continues to say. Biblia inaendelea ikisema Aha. Love is not ill, mad or self selfish. Upendo aina mwenye upendo akosi adabu hatavuti faida yake binafsi wala hana wepesi wa hasira. Yule mtu ambaye ni mwenye upendo yeye hana msimu wepesi wa hasira. Unaposhikwa na hasira basi wewe hauna upendo na haumjui Mungu. How many of us tuko na hasira? How many of us tuko na ubinafsi? How many of us wacha kuona neema? How many of us tunachipiga kifua? Maandiko inasema upendo haijijali. Mwenye upendo hajijali, anajali yule mwingine. Ninaweza nikatoa koti yangu nikampatia wangeshi Jina la Yesu abudiwe naweza toa hii koti nikapea wangeshi wangeshi akafurahi sana that is not love That one is not love hiyo si upendo The love is communication of inside my heart Upendo ni ile ambayo ninasema kutoka ndani ya roho yangu Love is something that are inside not outside. Upendo uko ndani. I can say today. Naweza sema leo. I love Wangeshi. Ninapenda Wangeshi. I want to marry you. Nataka kukuoa. And Wangeshi say thank you. Na Wangeshi aseme asante. In her thoughts. Kwa kwa fikra zake. She thought that I love her. Amejua ninampenda. What about inside me? Lakini hali ndani yangu what is communication of inside my heart ambayo ninaneana what matters is not what a person say ile ambayo ni maana si ile yenye anasema what matters is what is inside the heart ile ambayo ni maana ni yenye iko roho ndani ya roho yangu that's why most marriages have already been broken hiyo ndo kwa maana ndoa mingi huvunjika because this one was not agape love kwa sababu yule ambaye alikuwa anasema anapenda this one was not agape love haikuwa upendo wa agape It was a love of a flesh, last love. Ni ile mapenzi ya kimwili. When I met with her with a flesh love, kama ninayo ile mapenzi ya kimwili, we can even stay with her two years. Tunaweza kaa hata na yeye even three years. Hata miaka mitatu. But it will come a place. Lakini itafika We mani. shall separate. Tutagawanyika. Because it was not a agape love. Kwa sababu haikuwa upendo wa kiungu. It was flesh ilikuwa wa kimwili haleluya amen ask your neighbor that man or that woman that you are moving it is he agape love or a fleshly love yule ambaye unakaa na yeye uko na upendo wa kiungu ama upendo wa kimwili haleluya haleluya upendo chachi anaweza ongesha na anaweza niambia joel ninaomba unisaidie na bible nimpatie hii bible aimanishi ninampenda upendo ninaweza kaa chini na nione wangashi hana biblia nimwambia tena nashika hii bible that is agape love hiyo ni upendo wa kiungu are you working with agape love or a fleshly love Unape, unatembea na upendo wa kiungu ama upendo wa kimwili when a person is having the spirit of love wakati mtu wako na roho ya upendo he, he or she yeye cannot lie to her partner hawezi danganya mwingine but if i met wangashi with the flesh 
Lakini kama nilikutana na wangeshi na when by time goes wakati muda unapopita I will see Gladys ataona Gladys Why it was not agape kwa sababu it was not agape haiko upendo wa kiungu As to self the person that you are staying with yule ambao unakaa na yeye is it agape love or a fleshly love ni upendo wa kiungu ama ni upendo wa kimwili Hallelujah. 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 Love takes care. Upendo una unalinda. Love takes care. Upendo una Yes, I can confess I love Wangeshi. Naweza sema ninapenda Wangeshi. Do I take care of Wangeshi? Je, nina to linda Wangeshi. Does she take care of me? Yeye ananihudumia pia. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, We had two women in the Bible. Kuna wanawake wawili katika Biblia. Esther, Esther, and Bashiti. Na Bashiti. Bashiti, Bashiti was loved by the king. Alikuwa amependwa na mfalme. But it was a fleshly love. Lakini ilikuwa upendo wa kimwili. It was a fleshly love. Ilikuwa upendo wa kimwili. Even though they stayed together. Ingawaje walikaa pamoja. But it was fleshly love. Ilikuwa upendo wa kimwili. That's why you see. Hiyo ndio kwa maana unaona. When the king said. Wakati mfalme alisema. Esther. Esther. Please come. Kuja. I want to show my friends. Nataka kuonyesha marafiki zangu. How you are. Uko aje. How beautiful you are. Vile wewe ni mrembo. Vashiti said. Vashiti akasema. Even me I am busy. Hata mimi niko na shughuli. Even me I am busy. Hata mimi niko na shughuli. The king was very hungry. Mfalme alikuwa amekasirika sana because of Bashiti. Kwa sababu kwa sababu ya Bashiti. The Bible says, Biblia inasema. The king said, Bibi, Let inasema, us look a person. Wacha tuangalie mtu. A God fearing person. Yule ambaye ana mcha mungu. That can take with it that can take the position of Bashiti. Mwenye anaweza chukua nafasi ya Bashiti. The Bible says, Biblia inasema. Esther was seen. Esther alione a humble girl. Yule ambaye ako na a God fearing girl. Yule mwenye amemcha mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. She was humble before the king. That person that you are walking with. Yule mtu ambaye unatembea na yeye. That person that you are eating with. Yule mtu ambaye unakula na yeye. Is it a tough love or a fleshly love? Ako na upendo wa kiungu ama upendo wa kiungu? I can love Wangeshi. Naweza penda Wangeshi. Only because kwa sababu she has this kitamba. Kwa sababu ako na kitamba. I can love Wangeshi. Naweza penda Wangeshi because he has something that she is giving me. Kwa sababu kuna kitu ambayo ananipatia. That one is not agape love. Hiyo si upendo wa kiungu. It's agape of that things that I have. Ni ile upendo wa yale vitu ambazo ako nayo. The person that you are moving with. Yule mtu ambaye unatembea. The person that you are confessing is your man. Yule mtu ambaye unasema ndio mtu. Is it agape love? Ni upendo wa kiungu or it's a fleshly love? Ama ni upendo wa kimwili. The Bible say, Biblia inasema, I can give anything that I have. Naweza pia na chochote ambacho kila mtu. If I don't have love, lakini kama sina upendo, I'm nothing. Ni abure hiyo. I'm nothing. Ni abure hiyo. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, Preaching will end. Prophesying will end. Kutabiri itaisha. Singing will end. Kuimba itaisha. But lakini the love of god upendo wa mungu the love of god upendo wa mungu will remain standing itabaki milele will remain standing itabaki milele will remain standing itabaki milele you have that love of god uko na upendo wa mungu do you love that love of god uko na hiyo upendo wa mungu hallelujah hallelujah tell your neighbor love love the bible says love the lord your god with all your might and with all that you have Biblia inasema penda Mungu wako na nguvu zako sote na, kil, na kila kitu ambacho uko nacho. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when the wakati Biblia inasema penda Mungu na mali yako yote na nguvu zako zote, angalia neighbor, muulize wewe unampenda Mungu na mali yako yote? Unampenda na mali yako yote? Unampenda wakati Baasha anapopita na Baasha nisaidie na Baasha. Wakati Asha anapopita na Baasha, wewe tayari unasema unampenda Mungu. Unampenda? 
You confess you love God, but when Asha passes near you with an envelope, God has already blessed you. You say, uh, even I find, my, I find others, they took, took the envelope and when they put it on where? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you love God with all your heart? Tell your neighbor, ask your neighbor if we love God with that money that God has given him. Uliza jirani kama mependa mungu na mali amba mepewa na mungu. Hallelujah. 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 Tell your neighbor, fear not, things are going to be good. Ambia jirani asiogope. Takua sawa. The Bible says by seven. Biblia inasema. Love never gives up. Upendo huvumilia. Love never gives up. Upendo huvumilia. When you give up in life. Wakati hawezi, hauna uvumilivu. You don't know God. Aujui mungu. You don't know God. Aujui mungu. Upendo uvumilia. Love does what? Love does what? Huh? Love is special. Hallelujah. Amen. Buwana yesa sifiwe. Amen. Buwana yesa sifiwe. Love never gives up. And it's faith. Hope and passion never fail. Huamini yote, utumaini yote. Huamini yote. Utumaini? Yote. Ustahimili yote. Ustahimili yote. Upenda ufumilia. Sasa kwa sababu tumeputana na wangeshi muke wangu. Nilipo ingia kwa nyuma nikamua hee. Uyeno. Kwa nino mewacha uchi kwa meza. Funda. Nikamueka kofi. Jina lusa mudie. Nibadhi ya duku. Kala ahamie. Hana. Wawe. Upendo ufumilia Thank you Upendo Upendo ufumilia Love Upendo Mwanesa sifiwe Tell your neighbor love Mbia jirani upendo Kama ukona upendo ninachua utabumilia Na kama hauna Utabumilia Upendo ufumilia mazito Ma Upendo hauna choyo Upendo ujali Upendo ujitolea Mwana sifiwe Hata kama pasta ajasema kitu inatakikana Na ukona upendo wakazi ya mungu Unakucho umeibeba unaileta Hata kama pasta ajasema Ibloti tunaitaka Unakuta teare tukopadogo Unaenda unaulisa na inauzo milioni ngapi Mwana yesa sifiwe Mwana yesa sifiwe Upendo Upendo ufumilia Upendo ujionyeshi Ujionyeshi Jina lesi ya budiwe Lakini sisi tumekua kujionye Tumekua kujipika kifua Kama si mimi Joel Hakuna kitu kitafanyika Kama si mimi Joel Kamsa hii itafunga Kama si mimi Joel Uduma hii haitapanuka Kama si mimi Joel Watu wata endelea Upendo ufumilia Hallelujah. Maulise kama anafumilia. Anafumilia. Ha? Bwana sifiwe. Na shukuru mungu kwa watu watu watazama jiwetu. Meelewa neno la siku ya leo. Tumeongea kuhusu upendo. Na ninajua kwamba kama teare umesimama na upendo. Mungu hata kwa chilia. Mungu hata simama na maisha yako. Na maisha yako ya takuwa ya baraka. Tumea kwa njia za mungu. Na utabarikiwa. Tuko wakati kakanisa letu liku wapa 44. Rurie Road Spoken Word of God Ministry. Kinurai 44. Nema Yesu Kristo ya kutawali. Tuko na branches zetu. Tuko na branch na kuru. Tuko na branch kakamega. Kakamega kanisa letu wa kakamega. Liko upande wa iti. Liko upande wa pale ikonyero. Mkwe na mpika maali pale. Kuna kanisa letu liko maineo hayo. Kina ongozo na Pastor Patrick. Na tuko na kanisa letu la spokeni bado. Liko upande wa kimbo. Kidurai kimbo. Kina ongezo. Kina ongozo wa na Pastor Frederick Imbali. Liko tuko na kanisa letu. Liko pale na kuru. Pande maali pa sewage. Lina ongozo wa na pasta Javan wakiwa na mna Benson Tuko na kanisa letu jada ino kirekia kia mu Lina ongozo wa na pasta Stephen Okumo wakiwa na James Mungo Tuko na kanisa letu Maineo ya Runa B Lina ongozo wa na pasta Francis Ini mekaribisha Mungo kutoe feva na kuinue I love you all May God bless you abundantly